Hi, in this video I want to show you uh, my Facebook account and uh, something that is missing uh, so far. Uh, so here is my Facebook, the Facebook account I have been using for this campaign. And as you can see, Facebook has not recorded any conversion uh, yet, even though I had uh, 19 opt-ins and one sale. So uh, in this video, I want to show you how we are going to set up um, things to have Facebook record the conversions. So first, we need a conversion tracking pixel given by Facebook. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to copy this JavaScript code. I have actually already set it up in my Facebook campaigns. When I created these ads, I told Facebook to use that specific pixel. But I have not placed this pixel yet, and this is why it has not fired and the conversions have not been recorded on Facebook's side. The way to do it, actually, you have two ways to do it in FunnelFlex. The first one is uh, <clears throat> when you set up your traffic source. You see here that you have a section called fire conversions back to the traffic source. And you have uh, three different options. Uh, the option you will select depends on your traffic source. Some traffic source will give you a post back URL, some others a pixel URL, some others some kind of JavaScript code like Facebook or Bing ads or Google AdWords. In the case of Facebook, we are going to select this JavaScript option and you see that I have actually already set this pixel here in my uh, in my traffic source when I set it up however it has not been fired because of this important notice here when using the JavaScript post back code you must place this iframe on your thank you page but if you remember when we created our funnel, we didn't set up any thank you page after the subscribers opt-in, after the visitors opt-in to the newsletter. Instead, they are redirected directly to the affiliate offer. So, without any thank you page, I cannot place this iframe anywhere. In this case, in this case, what we are going to do is we are going to insert a new node between the opt-in and the, the affiliate offer that, we, that will not be seen by the visitors, but that will execute some JavaScript code. We are going to add this node, add JavaScript code. We are going to name it FB Leads. And here, I'm simply going to pass the code that I got from Facebook. Now, I'm going to send the subscribers to this node. And once this code will be executed, they will be automatically redirected to the affiliate offer. By doing this, I'm still able to send my subscribers directly to the affiliate offer without needing any thank you page and I will be able to execute the JavaScript code given by Facebook at the same time. If the traffic is coming from another traffic source like Bing Ads or uh, lead impact on Bevo ads, since I have set up uh, campaigns with these traffic sources too, then this script will still be executed. But since those visitors uh, are not coming from Facebook, this will not trigger any conversion on Facebook's side because they do not have Facebook's cookies on their computers. Later, I will show you how to use 
the condition node to execute this node only if the traffic is coming from Facebook. So now that I have saved this new funnel, the conversions will now be recorded on Facebook's side and I will be able to see which traffic segments are giving me uh, opt-ins. Uh, thanks uh, for watching. Bye-bye.